the clips I wasn't satisfied so I scrapped it you know sometimes that that's ha that happens behind the scenes so even though I'm tired I had a long long day I did laundry and all of that and you know that's not easy plus later I'm gonna have to go fold up the clothes them and put them up or something so basically I'm tired you know you guys don't normally see me like this tired on here but I am so, I don't want to make this intro too long as you know, but I'm basically going to be showing you guys how I take down my braids. As you can see, I don't even need to zoom up, but I'm going to zoom up and let you see a little closer. My hair is not the type that lasts long past two weeks because, yeah, as I was saying, my hair is not the type that lasts is the longest in braids especially that I do it myself you know and I'm not perfect at it because I've genuinely have not gotten enough experience doing it in other people here and I've only been really doing it in my hair which I don't mind but you know experience teaches wisdom and so I don't really t and then there's actually reasons why my braid might not last past two weeks looking good and everything like you know that nice look where it have when it when your braids them just do yeah and the reason for that is because one i don't do the tension i don't like tension on my scalp or my hair or my head or in my hair at all it's not a good thing guys it it, it leads to i've learned on my hair journey and even before my natural hair journey that um when you do your hair too tight it leads to hair not hair damage alone but like hair starts to pick out basically meaning you know you start getting bald spots certain places of your scalp and your hair and everything and ain't nobody want it i don't know if you want it but i don't want it so I don't try and do my hair too tight. I mean, the first couple times I did my own hair, braid my own hair, well, five times or so, or less, or even four times. I don't remember. I, I, I used to do it tight because, you know, the tight, if we grew, I grew up in the culture where if it's not tight, it don't make sense to spend your money because if it's not tight, that means say that will pull up easily. So, I'm not do the tightness because I can't manage it. And me don't want it. Me don't want a bar spot in my head. I'm gonna want mm -mm. it's not a nice feeling. Um, yeah, and the next reason for that as well. Well, number one would be that I don't have enough experience with other people here. I'm just doing mine. 
and then the second is that I don't do tension just to make the style last and third is that I don't um, I don't do certain styles because I don't have enough experience to do the styles and in my hair length so my hair is natural so that would be the fourth thing my hair is natural and my hair texture is coarse and as a result it it gets frizzy real quick you know and then it's not the longest you know it's on that journey of getting there but can truth be told blessed beauties i don't want my hair super super long like these braids you know but i do want a certain length i won't disclose that right now because that's personal um and i do believe in keeping certain things to yourself you know not everybody wishes you well and i know even here on the channel you have people who just are watch the fast and people just wait i wait to hear something in the video them and i'm not here for that i'm gonna focus on certain things here on the channel and it stays that way we don't mix business with pleasure around here so now that i had that six minute long intro maybe i cut it down you know you know when we edit they got tweak out some parts like but your girl tired i really pray i could make this video into kind of like a chit chat video because it kind of feel nice because i feel like me get you know interact with them on a different level but me just need to start and time ago it's now 19 minutes past now it's now it's now 19 minutes past six o'clock so yeah they are not light right now they are get tonight so yeah so i just want to start off now by saying first of all before i even go there are you subscribed i'm gonna give you a minute to subscribe you subscribe thank you welcome to the blessed beauties community over here thanks for being a part of it leave a comment down below like this video give me a thumbs up and also share with everyone you know without further ado let us just jump right into this video okay my blessed beauties we are back i'm tired so just sit with me but well, i need to do this because i mean i, I washed my hair last week you know i washed it with the braids but i i, I couldn't get to show you guys that video because i don't want to risk putting the ring light in the bathroom and all of that and go with wet up and damage like mm -mm. no sir because if that's up god forbid we am get no video and that's just a fax because girl in a rich light i have to say goodbye one second ring light and all of that and all of that and all of that so we have to, you know we we'll work with what we have still all right so as i said this video is going to be the takedown of my braids how i remove my braids after a couple of weeks or a month or whatever but in the in this case it's a couple of weeks so i'm gonna i just want to run through the tools that i have here on the table in front of me you know because i know it might be very really important for you guys even though i have it listed down in the description box i think so yeah, as it relates to, before I get into this, as it relates to the Bible verse of the day and the daily affirmation that I try to include in my videos, it will be linked down in the description box. But if I am not mistaken, I think the Bible verse of the day is from the book of Romans, but I don't remember the actual verse. And so because Trey was watching and all of that, we never really, you know, penny that so much. Because we just see that, like, the sun never out. Today was a really gloomy day really overcast day so i was just trying to do the, the best i could for my clothes so as i am saying before that these are the tools that i'm going to be using for this day a while ago i had to go for my scissors um before i started recording because we never remember the scissors i'm gonna need the scissors the scissors is really important it's a very in it's a very important tool in all of this because nobody has no time to pull out from down at the tip of yourself to up at the top because we don't reuse the ear. You understand? We don't have the time to wash and rinse and dry the ear. And plus the ear pull up, pull up. We don't have the time. So first you need your scissors. I think that's the first thing you need. You need your scissors. I only have currently one hair tie on the table. 
but it would be suggested it would be best advice for you guys to have more than one either elastic band or hair tie or spongy or something just to you know part of your hair when you start get more hair from pulling it out you understand and then i have here four combs i have a rat tail comb like this see it has this part down here which we're going to be using and then i have a white tape comb right and then i have this other white tape comb but it has a longer you know it has a tail comb part that makes sense <laughs> So that's that's my culture right there and then you have the afro pick right so these are the four combs outside of the scissor and the scrungy are the hair tie that i'm going to be using so yeah these are them so now we're just gonna start so the majority of this video is going to be speed through <coughs> so what i basically i'm thinking is that i would start off by showing you guys how i pull up one or two right <coughs> sorry the fun is yeah and then i would also make sure i show you guys each section of my hair so like over here over here i'm gonna pull it over at the front in the middle and at the back right so bless ladies if you want to see how i do, will be doing all of that then definitely keep on watching so we're gonna start so this is no which one am i gonna do first i'm gonna do let me see let me see i'm gonna do this one first i think should i all right this one hmm. all right so i'm gonna pull back the ears of the hair that I'm not using and each time I am ready to pull out another hair I'll just draw it out so I'm just gonna put that back so this is the first piece that we're doing so tip number one is cut way past your hair so don't like cut from like here so I'm I know where my natural hair stops so you want to cut it from here Put that one down one side and then I did rope twists at the ends of my braid so it's a little bit easier for this process <laughs> yeah so now I'm just gonna you know start pulling out the braid sorry for the shaking guys so I'm just now gonna pull out the braid from my natural hair until I reach the root so yeah it's gonna be pretty simple for this particular um tutorial because if it is that i was if it is that i had braided it off from root to tip then it would have been a whole other story bless me is but true my the rope twist my only have like where my natural hair starts to where it stops to really have their stuff to pull out you get me i say pull out the plaits so yeah so you're gonna have a little detangling you know plus this i think this one i did the crochet method which was an epic fail for me as you saw in the video that i posted about doing this whole hairstyle so as you guys also know i did do the rubber band method so i have to take out the rubber bands so this is how the rubber band is looking so i used two rubber bands as i said in my how I, how I prep and install my hair that video I think will be linked down in this description box for this video so definitely check that out now as it relates I think I should zoom you guys up but before I do that as it relates to this part now I don't have a lot of build up but I have a a little, a, a little bit so I'm gonna zoom you guys up and get more detail so I'm gonna come to my business right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make sure I say wanna say good. So this is my hair. Now this is the length of my hair right here on this side. My hair is not the longest, my don't tell another that already. But yeah. So 
I want to know why that goes. Yeah, so this is how the build up looks. It does it's not a lot because one I never do my baby ears or my edges all the time from having this braid. I don't do it as often as some people. And two, I did not why do I feel like me I feel screen my head. I did not um leave I did not wash I know I washed my hair last week. So therefore, there's not a lot of build up in my hair, if you understand what I mean, because I would have washed out some of it, you understand, so that is why that is so. So we're just going to go now and start separating the hair like this, hope you guys can see that. And this is how we're going to start, this is how we're prepping to start combing through, detangling all of this. So, oh my, I'm going to have the comb for that. Guys, I have to go for one comb and come back. Oh my goodness. Okay, blessed babies, we are back. Why am I tired? So I'm going to go for the other three comb them. You guys did see this also in the how I prep and install my braids video. So these are the other three combs. But just run go pick up. So, got two tail combs here. They're made out of different kind of plastic. And then you have to spin. So, I'm going to use this one to start, you know, comb through the ears. So, I can't talk because if I blow the build up, I'm going to want to go in my mouth. You understand? And then we're going to go in with this comb and comb through. So, by doing this, particular method I have learned that it really helps to save your natural hair from tearing out each time you have to take down your braids because what I normally would have done back then when I did have my hair braided the couple times it did I lost a lot of hair because I did not know how to take out the braids and that contributed to me losing a lot of hair back then so yeah, and for those who may be wondering, I am on a natural hair journey for myself, so my hair is coily and kinky and curls. So, yes. So, this is how this one is looking. You know, and see? Looks really, really good. So, now I'm just going to continue, and you guys can just watch what I will be doing. Okay, my blessed ladies? You may think it's fair to be proud about it I quit ordering from all those fast food chains I'm feeling better, there's no doubt about it And my days are brighter, my shoulders are so much lighter Just for a moment there, I thought that there was nothing more to life I thought about it, wrote a couple songs about it Just for a moment there, I lost my Hey. 
I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Thinking too much lately I just need to 
my hair the shrinkage is real so my hair look like 10 5 time 5 10 time shorter than it actually is when it's just washed i mean everybody here is like that especially naturals you know people who have natural hair sorry for the shaking so now i'm just using my whitey comb to just comb through right now i the time is i'm not even know I think I have that seven right now. I'm gonna check the time. Yeah, 12 minutes past seven, and I started. Yo, I'm not even remember, but sometime after six, I start. Alright, so, see, less time. Consuming. Ooh. One water, one star, like this is my. Anyway, this is my hair. Healthy, healthy. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am that. <laughs> if you know that song comment down below guys <laughs> yeah so i have this a bump right here but i can't know if i want bump or what, what like why they want to keep popping up on my face so got it eh eh bless beauties my disrespectful i'm about to bust it anyway this is my hair I pray that the video is not too long, but I definitely wanted to show you guys how I do this video. And I'm so hard on my hair videos, such videos I wanted to do here on the channel. And I think it would have never happened. Because I'm going to bum and say, I'm going to pull up my ear. I'm not in the mood to record it. Or I'm going to pull it out at a time where I'm going to set up, I'm going to say, I'm not in a place for me to just sit down and record the video. So I'm really happy that I was able to do this video for you guys because I know it, a lot of you guys may want to know how exactly I do it and how exactly you could, you know, take some of the tips and tricks that I spoke about and the gems that I flinged out in this video to help you pulling out your hair. Because you see how full my hair looks like? My, nat my natural hair is naturally full, right? And coarse, but in terms of texture, but like... Mm, years ago when my hair did braid three time before I start Bermona hair and all that my hair would never look this full for many different reasons once one minute my hair, I, I had processed hair at one point in my life and I also for years that is and I also never knew what I knew now about putting out the hair but one thing I can definitely implore you guys to do is to make sure that you study your natural hair you try to learn about your natural hair try and observe your natural hair i'm not saying everybody should go on a natural hair journey because it might not work out for everybody but it is a rewarding journey you know and so i would advise a lot of you guys to think about it because it took me a while to condition my mind to this journey but Every time I look at my hair, every time I am in my hair doing a style, a protective style or whatever, even when it comes down to just washing my hair, I am so happy, I'm so content, I'm so happy, like ecstatic that to see how far my hair has come and I know this is not the end of the road, you know, and I'm so happy I started it better late than never because months ago even less than that like six months ago or more than that my hair just never looked the way i did ever wanted to look you understand them time eh? 
So I've been working super, super hard on my hair behind the scenes. You guys don't see that a lot, but I have, like, yeah, I wash my hair every two weeks because my can go no more weeks with it no wash. So, yeah, just to let you guys know, and as I said, my hair texture is very coarse. You know, and yeah, I'm gonna normally shampoo more than one time because I'm gonna keep in protective styles more than cup three, four weeks to a month. And if I do have to keep it in two or one extra week and a half outside of that one month, then maybe it depends on my hair. If I'm doing this thing where if I'm having braids for a certain amount of time or if I want it last like a month. I don't wash it once before at time to so pull it out and wash it again. So I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight because my channel like wash my hair at night all the time, only sometime. But I'm not really up feet right now, so all I'm gonna do is put on a bonnet, you know, that covers everything. But I don't know what I'm gonna do it, right? I don't even remember. No, I don't think I know what I'm gonna do it. But that's all I'm gonna do. And then wash it tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, I have to go by the grace of God. I have to shampoo, condition, and then do the whole prepping of my hair. If you just put it in a little corner or corner or whatever, and then go and do it. Man, do you understand? Um, as it relates to my other braid videos, I mean braiding my hair has become something that I do very, very, very often. That I do very often now because it's helping to grow my hair and it's also a protective style so you know my hair not out of frizz up and it's tough no more than it is already and so and not every i'm saying that to say that it's not every time i braid my hair i'll come on camera and show you guys unless it's a color that i feel like if i post this if i record this it can get a lot of views or you know you know might want to see less beauties or something you know why not all the time though? Just putting that out there. But I'm so tired. Right now I'm gonna just have a go and chillax with my ear out and so on. I'm gonna make a clip separately and insert it in the video before the intro, the official intro. Bef before I'm gonna make a extra video clip of the table, the mess, the aftermath of pulling out my hair. Which is not the worst. I've seen worse. But I want to do that video after I end this clip. So that you guys can see how my table looks. I have a sanitizer bottle on the table. So you'll see that too. But I'm going to show you all everything in front of my look. And all the ear the and everything. And my mother said the ears smell bad. Ooh, but I said go. Anyway, blessed beauties, this is the end of today's video. I'm really happy that I was able to push out this video for you guys. But you guys won't be seeing this video until probably next week. Just saying, just saying. Because last week I pushed out four videos and it was a lot. It was a lot. And so, my mind really did it. So, I'm not going to get a video this week. What I like later of this week. Not really. Today, not really. Yeah, cause I was supposed to edit that video today, but it never worked out. So stay tuned to the channel for that video. Hopefully, this video is not too long, cause this is probably the longest outro I have ever done. Even though some might have a speed up or whatnot, but yeah. Without further ado, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Blessed Beauties family and community over here. If you're new. Leave a comment down below, any suggestions, any video suggestions, anything you might want to say, just be nice because you know me black you, I'm not afraid to black you. So if you're mad disrespectful, you have to go, you have to go to the blacklist. And if you don't want to be there, be nice. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it, if it was informative, if you learned something, or if you just, whatever, I don't know, like this video, leave a comment down below, be nice as I said, or else I'll block your eyes. Plain and simple. Share this video and do yeah. to subscribe. I'll ask it this day so all along. Anyway, let's do this. So yeah, stay tuned for the videos before this video. I'll try and have them up on the channel by the end of this week. Give me a little time. 
Give me a little time. I don't know. So I use one device to do everything, and it's not easy to record and to edit and to export and to upload. It's not easy. I could be an actress. Anyway, that's besides the point. This is the end of the video of Blessed Beauties, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Blessed Beauties. Girl, nice, still in Play it. Hello? We gotta rock our fro. So, Blessed Beauties, this is the aftermath of pulling up my hair. So, the table looks. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at it, look at it, here everywhere. Anyway, bye, boss beauties.